Information is still pouring in about what happened to a passenger flight out of Minneapolis today. A pilot was arrested after failing a breathalyzer test, suspected of drinking. What made the authorities suspicious? Here's ABC's Lisa Stark with the story. It was early morning, the first flight of the day, when the pilot passed through the security checkpoint. As he was waiting for a nearby elevator, a TSA agent and other officers just happened to walk by and just happened to smell alcohol. As the pilot headed into the cockpit of his American Eagle regional jet, the worried officers notified airport police. They caught up with 48-year-old Captain Kolbjorn Christiansen right after he finished pre-flight checks. It was just before 6 a.m., just before 53 passengers would have boarded the flight from Minneapolis to New York. Police say Christiansen failed a preliminary alcohol breath test. He was arrested. The reality is that there is no excuse whatsoever for having alcohol in the bloodstream of a pilot. None. The airline scrambled for a replacement pilot. The flight took off late. It landed safely at LaGuardia. Some were shocked when they learned why their flight had been delayed. I'm feeling very unsafe. The FAA says incidents are rare. About 12 allegedly drunk pilots arrested a year. In one case in 2002, two America West pilots were caught drinking on surveillance tape the night before their flight. And TSA screeners smelled alcohol on their breath the next morning. The pilots were arrested before the flight took off. We are in a dive. No One of Hollywood's myself. current hit movies, Everybody Flight, focuses on a drunk pilot who pulls off a miraculous and crash landing, but then has really to face the music. This toxicology report states that you were drunk. The legal alcohol limit for pilots is 0.04, half of what's allowed for drivers, but still enough to impair judgment. And to give you an idea just how seriously this is taken, in the most extreme cases, pilots can face up to 15 years in prison. In this case, for Christensen, his fate is still unknown. We do not know his exact alcohol level. We do know that he has been suspended pending a full investigation.